In this video, I want to talk a bit about how you can manipulate strings in C. Namely, how you can actually split a string in multiple pieces. So, so let's get started. I have declared here and initialized a simple string, right? We have str, that is the text. Let's break this string into pieces. And I want to get every single word out on a different line on the console. Simple enough. Okay, so to start off, we need to first include string.h. So I have included here string.h and we're gonna use a function from this uh, library. So the name of the function is strtok and that stands for string token. We have to pass in as a first parameter our string to this function. So that's just gonna be str. And then the second parameter is going to be a string that contains each character that we want to break at. So we just want to print out every single word on the console. So we are just going to pass in a string that contains a space, just like so. And that's it. That's the first phase of splitting the string. Now this function also returns a char pointer, right? and it will return a pointer to the next occurrence of each piece of our whole string, right? So we're gonna just simply declare it here. So char pointer, I'm gonna call it piece because it's a piece of our string. So the first time we call str talk, it's going to return the first part, the first piece of our string, right? So now we can actually print this on the screen. So we can say print f and then percent s backslash n and simply say piece here. And if we try to run this, you will notice that we get, well, just the first word, which is let's. So that makes sense. Now, how we can actually print every single word there? Well, for that, we're gonna have to use str talk again, but now in a different way. Now that we have given it the string, it already knows. Even after it finished its execution, it it still retains a bit of its memory, right? It knows that we're still dealing with this, um, this string, this str here. So for the next pieces of our string, what we have to do is call str talk with the same second parameter, right? So the same delimiter, but now with the first parameter being null. And that tells the function to, oh, we're not gonna pass you any more new strings, just use the previous one and continue giving us pieces of that string, right? And we're gonna still assign this value to piece. So this is still gonna give us the next occurrence, the next piece of our string. And now if we try to print this, you will notice that we get the second piece of our string. Now there's one important thing to note here when using str talk and to get to it, we're gonna have to use the debugger. So let's uh, get straight to it. I'm just going to add a breakpoint here. We're gonna launch the debugger and let's see what value str has. So right now it has the actual string that we've uh, added here. That's fair enough. We haven't executed anything yet. Now let's try to execute this line of code. Right, so I'm gonna hit F7. And now if I evaluate this, you'll notice that we get this, let's backslash zero, 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 break this string into pieces. From this, we can deduce that one, str talk is actually modifying our original string. So if we want to use it further down, we're gonna have to copy it somewhere else. But second, that also means that these piece parts are actually part of the string. They are actually pointing to the same string just at different places. And due to it being backslash zero, when we try to print it here, if we if we take a look at piece here, you'll notice that it's 0x23fe20 and you'll notice that str has the exact same address location. You'll notice that both of them are pointing to this exact place in memory. And that's right, because that's where our first piece of the string is, while splitting it at uh, the space character, and that's where our string starts. So that's correct. 
So that's one thing to note here. We are actually dealing with the same place in memory. We actually are working with our string. It's not just a copy of the word let's. That's the important thing to note here. And now if we go further down, so printing it doesn't do anything to the str if I try to run this, you notice that we don't get anything different. But if I try to run this again, you'll notice that it added another backslash zero at the end. That's actually the character backslash zero I checked. That's how the debugger shows a null terminator in the string here. So that's just a, just the null terminator. So basically it simply adds a null terminator to the end of our piece and gives us back a reference to the beginning of our piece, right? So now we can simply, uh, we can simply print it on the screen just like so. And we get our word here. Now, one thing to note here is this str talk. How do we know that we've uh, reached the end? How do we know that, okay, here's the last piece and there's no more, no nothing to give you. Because if we always get a reference, then we can't know that. Well, str talk has a feature where it says, okay, once you've reached the end of the string itself and you already gave us the last piece, simply return no. Right, so we can check for that. In fact, we can simply change this whole code into a while loop. So it's gonna go like so. We simply have a while, while piece is different than the pointer null, simply print on the screen the piece and then simply give me the next piece. So now if we try to execute this, you'll notice that we get the right output that we wanted. Just every single word on a different line. Now the cool thing about str talk is that it also breaks at multiple consecutive occurrences of the same delimiter. What I mean by that is just simply, it breaks at multiple space characters. And when we try to run this, you'll notice that we don't get simply empty lines here. So that means that instead of just seeing a single space, it saw three spaces and split at that. Some other languages have this problem where when you break uh, at the delimiter space, it's going to give us two empty strings in this case. But for C, for str talk at least, it's not a case. So as a recap, it's actually very simple to understand once you get the gist of how it actually works. So first you need to call str talk with your own string that you want to split just once, right? And the delimiters, of course, and retain whatever you get back inside a uh, pointer, inside a char pointer. That's going to give you the first piece. Now you can simply call str talk with the null pointer and the same delimiters multiple times to get the next piece over and over and over again. And you have to just remember that at one point you're going to get the null pointer, right? This guy is going to simply return null and your piece is going to be simply null. And that's why we have this condition as a stop condition for the while loop, right? So these are the three parts that you have to remember. Just start the splitting, get the next piece and stop the splitting at the null uh, pointer. So I hope this helped. Feel free to check out more videos about strings in C because I know it's a little bit of a confusing chapter when first learning C. And well, see you next time.